Hello, I'm William Gallagher and this is 58 Keys, which as ever, as always, is for writers like you and me, who use and write on Macs, iPhones, iPads and Apple Watches. I don't know why I keep forgetting the Apple Watch when I wear it all the time. Yeah? Uh, anyway, do subscribe, uh, hit that likey button thing, uh, or support 58 Keys on Patreon, because there is so much to talk about, and surprisingly, surprisingly to me anyway, a lot to talk about with the Apple Watch. You're a writer. You are not going to write your novel on an Apple Watch, but you can write on it. And moreover, there are there are tools and apps for the Apple Watch that help us as writers. I mean, for a start, there's all the fitness and health stuff. I mean, for an end, there's all the, yeah, fitness and health. Okay. I do use the health stuff a bit, actually. And it is, I'm, I know I sit a lot, writer. It is amazing to me what a watch could do. I mean, for women, menstrual cycle tracking on your watch. Sometimes this world is fantastic. But since I'm predominantly a lazy bugger, let's just pretend right, that we've covered all of the health and fitness stuff. It was fantastic, wasn't it? So that we can move on. And between Apple's um, own apps that come with the Apple Watch anyway, and ones that you can buy from other developers, I would like to point out to you five Apple Watch apps for writers. Five apps and a sixth thing, an extra that's potentially very good for us. But at the moment, I think you need prayer and the patience of at least five saints to get it to work. Apple Pay and Express Transit, parts of the same thing. In America, it's more complicated. You have to check, does your bank support Apple, Pay, Apple Pay? But in the UK, where contactless payments, they were already everywhere. The moment Apple Pay existed in 2015, it worked across the UK, everywhere. And I think I've rarely paid for anything any other way since nine years. OK, um, I don't actually want to go into detail on this one because somehow, do you know, it seems unwise to show my credit card details on YouTube. I mean, call me over cautious, but if you haven't already added your credit or debit cards to your watch, well, it's easiest, I think, to add them first to your iPhone. Open the wallet app, wallet app on your iPhone, follow the instructions, <laughs> look how useful I am. And then either you get prompted to add it to the watch too, or you can open the watch app on your iPhone, tap on My Watch, then on Wallet and Apple Pay. But also do this. If you live in or, or like, like me, go often to a major city like London, in my case, in Wallet and Apple Pay, tap on Express, Express Transit and nominate a card. When I go through London's Tube, now I just wave my watch at the turnstiles and it works. No more tickets, no more Oyster cars as we had, no more fiddling to get out your debit card, just straight through. And I actually mean straight through. I don't mean pause, press a button, just straight through. I mean, I've been having conversations walking through, done. Next, uh, this is the second of my five-ish writers apps on Apple Watch, but it's really two of them because I think they're very similar. Uh, the simplest of the two to describe, and as it turns out, the cheapest to buy, is just press record. For a one-off price of five pounds in the UK or five dollars in the US, you get an iPhone and an Apple Watch app. And given that it's called Just Press Record, you'll never guess what you have to do with it. But once you have pressed record and it goes away off recording audio, you can chat away to your watch. You can get down that idea, that great sentence, uh, that character name, or or actually, well, I wouldn't recommend this. You could uh, record an interview with somebody using. You watch. I mean, it would work. The only reason I'd be worried about if it was an extended interview, just all of it, the audio crop out. Also, just, I mean, look at me, I'm gesticulating. If you gesticulate like this, the audio will be ah, rubbish. So, plus, Just Press Record has an iPhone app. If this is the one you get, point the iPhone at your interviewee, leave it on the table, whatever, go. Whether you record on the phone or the watch, though, the audio in Just Press Record automatically goes into the app on your phone, where actually, if you leave it alone for a minute, it will also be transcribed. Which is what happens too with Whisper Memos on the Apple Watch. Uh, this is another app of many now that use OpenAI's Whisper Transcription service, and that service is excellent. I mean, I rely on Whisper Transcription for all of my interviews now, and Whisper Memos can put it all on your wrist. The advantage of Whisper Memos over Just Press Record is that transcription. It is better. 
the disadvantage is that at least at the moment it only transcribes where just press record actually records and keeps the audio so later when you're looking at transcription and it is just bewilderingly wrong well you can play back the audio and listen to what people actually said there is also the price uh where just press record is this one off fiver whisper memos is a subscription that costs from about five pounds five dollars per month about if it's worth it to you bargain absolutely i tend to use transcription just for interviews though i i like typing otherwise or i or i do usually third up drafts five this is uh, actually it's the mac and the iphone app that i write articles in a lot i mean a lot maybe fifteen thousand words a week something like that um it also has an apple watch app that there you go 1723 drafts in it okay top in the inbox and you can read any of the drafts you wrote on any of the devices but there is also this keyboard here which takes you to the apple watches suggested text microphone and so on but if we just hit cancel that and go back to this main screen there's that big plus sign which also shows you the keyboard and it also has a microphone icon i don't know why these elements are duplicated but whichever route you choose you know where this is going you can blather on into drafts it will transcribe away very nicely and you know that the thing you've i was going to say written the thing you've just spoken will be there waiting for you for drafts on the iphone the ipad or the mac drafts is a subscription service which i pay for i pay in the uk i pay 17 pounds 50 annually in january as so it happens and it's uh 20 in the us um, I, I want to tell you though that I use drafts extensively, like I said, and yet I also know that I don't use it anywhere near enough. For as well as being, I mean, it's just a really fast way to start writing something. It comes with so many options and features on the Mac and the iPhone and the iPad. Um, options like uh, you finish a piece of text where you just send it in an email from there, no going into mail, just send it, or post it straight into your blog. I've done that a few times. Just checking the price for you, by the way, I've learned that Drafts has added integration with AI services like Google Gemini. I have no idea what that gives us yet, but I really should look at that, at the sheer mass of more things that Drafts could be doing for me, could be doing for you. Um, fourth, back to apps that Apple provides. D bit of a different one, this, Shazam. It's on your iPhone. Uh, you can get it just by swapping down a control center, but add it to your watch, put it in a complication, and then when you're out and you hear some music, well, maybe that you like, or that you think that would be what my character would listen to, tap, wait, done. Actually, uh, Shazam, the app might already be on your watch. I mean, you've definitely got it, but things I've fiddled with the watch so, more, so much, I'm not sure what's on the watch by default and what you have to say I want added from the list of possibilities so let's do the list of possibilities if the app isn't already on your watch then open the apple watch up on your iphone tap my watch then scroll way 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 down to a list of apps that have the word install next to them find shazam tap install and away off you go you could then add it to a complication on the watch on a watch face if you want fifth and actually the first one that i don't use i mean i don't use whisper much in that version but i don't use so much because i can't i can't really find a need for it and I, even though i would relish playing with this i translate converse uh, it costs from eight pounds or eight dollars per month subscription and it's so tempting because this is star trek's universal translate say what you want into your watch and your watch will then speak the translation in any of 38 languages or is it 37 plus the one you spoke into yeah. that's worth eight quid a month but even if you don't need it you can try it for fun for free for seven days now those are the five or so the proper ones that's it but there is just this one thing left that i said needs patience and as it turns out so far more patience than i seem to have in stock and yet it's potentially so good this is what it could be you could set a complication on your watch to run a shortcut. Um, I was going to do it so that with a single tap, I could run my shortcut that turns on my new writing focus mode for one hour and then automatically turns it off again. I, I want to do that. I'd still like that. And it should be easy. On any watch face that has complications, press and hold till you get this screen, then tap edit. Swipe around till you get to the complications, 
pick one. Uh, it may well already have something in there, in which case tap the back button to leave that and to get to this list of possible other complications. Scroll up or down until you reach shortcuts, tap on that and then grumble. When I went to do this, my watch said that I already had, I think it was about a dozen, maybe 15 shortcuts available. And I didn't even recognize all of them. Plus I absolutely, and I, maybe I'd just forgotten they were sold, but I definitely did not put them on my watch because I hadn't thought about doing it before. But uh, for example, shortcuts that you might download from other users, well, as it turns out, they happen to be rather likely to have show on Apple Watch selected. Thanks. For any one shortcut, then on your iPhone, open shortcuts, find that one, tap the I button, turn on or off, show on Apple Watch. And on the Mac, very similar, you open the shortcuts app, find the shortcut in question, then click on this I button, which is way up at top right, and then turn off or on, show on Apple Watch. That is easy enough, once you know where to go, for switching off or on uh, a shortcut, adding one, taking one away, fine. But apparently I had over 200 shortcuts set to show on my watch somewhere. On your iPhone, open the shortcuts app, tap on the back button to go to the list of folders and categories. And one of them is Apple Watch. Tap select, then select all, then remove, not delete, just remove and tap done. What remove does, it takes it out, takes these shortcuts out of the Apple Watch section. It doesn't delete them. So you've still got them knocking around in the all shortcuts, all shortcuts section. Okay, remember I said you need patience though? Well, I did all of that. I removed them all. And then when I went back in to this section, somehow there were 51 shortcuts that had fought their way back in. And I had to remove those all again and then just wait at the door. So far, they're hiding. I can't explain why they just came back that once, but what I'm more concerned about right now is these things are so stubborn. After an hour, maybe, of working on all of this, my Apple Watch was still showing me a pile of shortcuts that I have never asked to go on there. It sounds to me like there's a problem syncing between the watch and the iPhone, I, which feels, I mean, it feels like it will sort itself out if A, I give it time, and two, actually, I remember, or even remember to eventually go back to check, and I haven't just wiped it from my head. I hope I remember. Because running a shortcut with just a tap on your wrist, there's so much potential there. I mean, yeah, I want this thing of turning a focus mode on or off, I suppose. But one shortcut can do any number of things. So I could tap once and have the focus mode set. I could have it automatically send a text message to whoever's likely to come through the door. Otherwise, um, I could log the time I started into a spreadsheet, I suppose. Uh, set a timer for something else. Uh, play this music. Add an event to my calendar. Or at the moment, none of the above. Okay, well, sorry to end on a grumpy bit like that. But before I go off scowling, let me say, that's it for this edition of 58 Case. And aren't Apple Watches great for us? Thank you very much for watching. Now take care of yourself, write more, and I'll see you soon.